Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Before we start our today's discussion, I would like to congratulate to our scientists of ISRO and DRDO for making our country proud. 23rd August has been a remarkable day for India and what a day it has been. First, DRDO tested the indigenously developed beyond visual range missile Astra from indigenous fighter jet LC Tejas and then ISRO did the soft landing on the moon. India became the fourth country after US, Russia and China to do soft landing on moon and first country to land on the moon's south pole. Coming back to the test firing of Astra from LC Tejas, DRDU has released a 5 second video clip of test firing of Astra from LC Tejas. The missile was launched from an altitude of 20,000 feet and all objectives of the test were successfully met. The test launch was monitored by another twin-engine Tejas aircraft. This trial was clearly not for the maximum range of Astra. The maximum range is achieved when the missile is launched from an altitude of 49,000 feet. When Astra is fired from an altitude of 26,000 feet, the range drops to 44 km. Interestingly, if we look at the note time issued for this trial, it was for the range of 110 km, which is the maximum range of Astra, which raises a speculation if Astra has more range than reported. Anyways, keeping aside the speculation, the integration of Astra with Tejas is going to add much needed firepower to the indigenous fighter jet. On 23rd August, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary, has reviewed the status of light combat aircraft program in air headquarters along with officials from Ministry of Defense, DRDO, HL and ADA. During the review, it was brought out that all contracted fighter variants of LC Mark I had been delivered to Indian Air Force. Representatives of HL assured Chief of Air Staff of the timely delivery of the contracted twin-seaters in coming months as well. Further, to the LC Mark I, 83 LC Mark 1A aircraft has also been contracted by Indian Air Force in the year 2021. The Chairman and Managing Director of HL has assured that the deliveries of these advanced variants of LCA would commence from February 2024 onwards. While complimenting HL, the Chief of Air Staff indicated that based on these assurances, LC Mark 1A could be inducted in a newly raised squadron in one of the Indian Air Force operational bases early next year. With timely deliveries of the more capable variant, the LC Mark 1A is likely to see increased deployment at forward bases, besides participation in the international exercise in days to come. In July 2023, LC Tejas was deployed at Avantipur, which is one of the forward air bases in Jammu and Kashmir. The deployment was intended for training purpose, which clearly shows Indian Air Force preparedness for its deployment in upcoming years. From the initial order of 40 LCATs Mark 1, all 32 single-seater fighter jets has been delivered. In financial year 2023-24, HL will be delivering three aircrafts, which includes two LCA trainer and one LCA Tejas Mark 1A. On 5th April 2023, a major milestone in LCA program was achieved when the first ever series production standard LCA trainer LT5201 took sky for its maiden flight. The Tejas Mark 1A delivery will commence from February 2024. As per contracted delivery schedule, HL needs to deliver 16 LCA Tejas Mark 1A from financial year 2024-25 onwards. HL has also started putting up a third line in Nashik division to expedite the deliveries. HL is confident to meet 60 numbers from its Bengaluru-based facility. HL is also looking to increase these numbers so that deliveries could be at a faster rate and completed a year ahead of the contracted delivery schedule. As per plan, from February 2023, for the next 14 to 15 years, that is till 2038-39, India needs to produce approximately 390 fighter jets for Indian Air Force and that too indigenously. The production of 83 LCTS Mark 1A jet is scheduled to be followed by 130 TS Mark 2 jets, 126 AMCA 
and another order of 50 TS Mark 1A is also expected. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.